Now on the Rick Van Man channel, we head down to the allotment where Rick continues his ongoing journey into growing his own food. Hey guys, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. Well, I hope you enjoyed the summer because we're back to our uh, winter jackets and uh, rain and horrible weather again. Um, I suppose in a, in a way it's fortunate because uh, this is April so it is like the rainy season we're supposed to be getting April showers and that's exactly what we've got going on right now and that's exactly what's been happening every single day for probably most of April which is actually good. Um, this time last year during April we had no rain whatsoever in this part of the country so in a way it looks like the kind of the, these weird weather patterns are are back to normal at least uh, that's what I'm hoping anyway I've just arrived um, at the allotment the ground is looking incredibly wet and uh, I'm just gonna take a little look around now see what's been growing and what hasn't I can see my potatoes are poking out a tiny little bit they haven't moved much since last time of course the black currants are still doing beautifully doing really well unfortunately my um, pumpkin died uh, I think the frost actually got it uh, which is a shame. I'm going to start another one off, but I might might wait another couple of weeks just for, just sort of um, to get away from the, the danger of frost because that frost is a is a real pain this time of year, especially when you get really nice weather because it lulls you into a full sense of security. You think, oh, great weather, that's it. You know, spring's here. You start putting everything else that uh, you're putting everything out, and then uh, next thing you know, the blooming um, frosts are back again. Okay, no sign of the rocket, no sign of the juice and artichokes, no sign of the uh, the kale yet. But look, what do we have here? We have potatoes. Potato, 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 potato. Now, does anyone know when I'm actually supposed to earth these up? I think, do I let them grow a little bit, uh, sort of, you know, so high, and then earth them up, or do I earth them up now? Um, I would be grateful for any feedback on that. Uh, okay, also we've got the, uh, these are broad beans, and they're looking oh, a tiny little bit eat, eaten. Not, qu not quite as bad as perhaps they could do, could be. I definitely think I've got a slug issue uh, here. Now what I have done is I've ordered some copper, copper tape, some 18 mil thick copper banding. I've ordered 30 meters of it. Uh, that should get here in the next few days and um, I'm going to put that around all my new plants and uh, hopefully that'll that'll help. Um, I may even have to resort to slug pellets but I don't want to unless I have to because I know they're not good for the um, the frogs or the hedgehogs or the birds or anything like that so um, if I can get around this slug issue without uh, resorting to slug pellets I will but we'll see. Um, what have we got here? Carrots. We got. Looks like we've got definitely something coming up. Um, it's all very slow. No sign of the leak yet. Yes. Look. look what is this? This is a uh, radish. Yes. Look. Here we go. Radish. We've got radish. Uh, so that's quite exciting. No. Oh, yes, we have tiny, tiny, tiny little uh, Brussels sprout plants coming up. Uh, tiny little carrots coming up <laughs> so small you're not going to see them on the camera and uh, let's have a quick look over the other side this is leek more leek mm, no, not a lot happening there not a lot on the kale either and all my tomato plants that were out here all died off um, as you can see I think the frost got them again uh, this is peas now uh, yeah, look, they're definitely coming up. Those are definitely peas, so that's good. But look how wet this ground is. Literally, all of these beds along here, they look incredibly wet. And uh, you can see that there's puddles going on there because it, there's so much clay underneath. And uh, got a big puddle here in the path uh, next to the garlic. I've really got a feeling that garlic isn't going to do that well in that. Uh, that soil it's just so wet look I've got big puddles here just noticed that's where I've got peas in there so I don't know whether those peas are going to survive under that water um, I'm guessing probably not so I know um, the one of the allotments over there they um, 
they dug a big trench it was kind of like a water ditch and that's been empty up until uh, today I just went past it and it's completely full of water so uh, <laughs> definitely definitely very very wet at the moment right let's have a look at our worms okay um, that's a lot of uh, soil mixed in with obviously a lot of the kitchen scraps and there's I can see lots of worms in there so they're in there doing their thing um, so they look a little bit happier I think um, <clears throat> well, in fact I'll tell you what I'll do I'll have a look, have a look under the, the layer here yeah there's a few worms and just kind of chilling out in the bit down there that's just mud down there there's definitely Definitely worms here, I can see them moving around. So, if they're actually in that lot, I think they'll be happy. But they're definitely um, definitely taking their time doing their composty thing. I think maybe it's down to the cold weather. Right, let's have a look in the polytunnel here. Now, I came here, the last time I came here was about uh, three days ago. And the time before that, when I came, we'd had frosts, quite bad frosts overnight. And I came here the next day and that door was wide open. Now I don't know whether I'd left it open because I always thought I was um, you know, quite careful to close it or whether perhaps the wood had expanded and the latch on the door wasn't, because it, it wasn't fully engaged, it was only sort of like half engaged and I think the latch on the door might have just kind of given and the door flew open. And uh, some of my tomatoes looked a little bit singed and yeah they still do look, they've got this quite a Sort of not very happy look to them and i think that was the frost that did that um, although the lettuce seem relatively unaffected by it but yeah all three of my money maker tomatoes they've still got the size but there's definitely like a bit of a tinging going on around the edge of the leaf and i think it was the um the frost that did it but the lettuce look fine the ground to be honest looks wet uh, looks dry enough I, I basically came here just to water everything there's no sign of the carrots yet, no sign of the parsnips. Uh, let's have a look at these uh, grape vines. Yeah, they're looking good. Um, definitely, you know, growing. Strawberries looking okay, looks quite happy. Um, no sign of spring onions yet. Possibly cilantro at the back there, a couple of little bits. Oh, got a potato, that's good. Just the one, I think they're in a bit deeper than these ones. Um, so it might be a while before we see those. The pak choy, it's not looking wonderful. It's hardly grown, but I think it's, again, it's just, it's not, the, the temperature isn't um, very high at the moment. Um, got lots of stuff coming through, but I don't know what it is. I haven't planted anything here. Let's pull that weed up. That looks a bit dandelionish. Um, let's have a look at the cucumbers, very little change. Courgettes, definitely growing, um, definitely growing bigger, but again, it's, it's like everything's, everything's just come to a halt, if you know what I mean. Uh, just really not, not a lot happening. So I think what I'll do is I'll just put, chuck a little bit of water on the, uh, um, vines and the little seedlings here that's really all i can do for today i do want to say a big thanks to everybody who gave me lots of different suggestions and ideas for taking care of the airspace in here and seeing whether i can attach anything i think some sort of um suspension bridge type arrangement seemed to sort of come uh you know sort of i think that might work um but what i think i'll probably do is i'm going to see how i get on this year just with growing stuff in the ground because I've got a feeling a lot of this airspace is going to get taken up with the bigger plants especially here with the um, the, the cucumbers and obviously we've got the uh, the vines as well so um, I think what I'll probably do is I'll see how I get on it with it this year and then um, next year I'll have a much better idea of whether I actually need to worry about taking advantage of the airspace here I've also got a shelving unit at home that I want to bring down um, that I can use probably stick it in that corner and Put seedlings and things on it. Right, I think that's about it. It's quite a quite a sort of not a lot happening type um, video today. 
not a lot to report, not a lot to say or show you. These, um, I haven't replaced these sunflowers yet, but they're gone all the way up to here. And then I've got one, two, oh, that one's gone now. Typical. That one's been half eaten. So I'm down to one, two, three, four sunflowers. <laughs> so never mind, I've got uh, six, twelve, I've got 18 popping up at home so what I said what, what I'm gonna do is um with this this copper tape I'll um I'll actually put a copper ring around um, the the new plants that I plant and obviously I'll make sure there are no slugs in the actual area that I'm sealing off and hopefully they'll be able to grow then and uh, the same goes for things like cabbages and stuff like that uh, although I've been looking into something called cabbage cabbage mats or something cabbage discs um, which are impregnated with a, a kind of a, a paint um, that's got copper in it and they deter slugs so I may look into some of those as well we'll see right I'm just gonna get on and water and uh, I'm gonna go home again so uh, that's it for this video I'm not sure how long it's been going only 11 minutes um, so I will report back when there's well something worth reporting so till then thanks for watching guys have a great rest of the day and uh, i'll see you soon cheers